it was truly a historic flight because it's the first time that a commercial airliner was used to move passengers using a 100% drop-in sustainable aviation fuel. And that's really, really important because that indicates that we're able to produce uh, jet fuel from bio-based materials uh, without any need to change any aircraft, any fueling infrastructure, uh, or any of the other aspects uh, currently existing in today's aviation industry. Our part in the process is to really take uh, what Mother Nature does very, very well and to turn that into usable products. So what Mother Nature does is she takes the carbon uh, dioxide out of the atmosphere and through plant material is able to take that and turn it into various different compounds. A lot of people don't realize that plant material is typically 50 to 70 percent made up of sugar. So what we do is we take those sugars and we're able to convert that into uh, renewable gasoline, jet fuel, and the other products as well. United expressed an interest in trying to do something big in the industry to show that uh, the technology is available, ready for commercialization, uh, and we're really ready to take that next step towards making sustainable aviation fuel a reality. This is an historic day, not only for United Airlines, not only for aviation, but for the globe. This is an important milestone along the way to making aviation truly sustainable. I think uh, our technology is a big step forward and is truly a game-changing opportunity for uh, the green economy as a whole. Our technology and certainly this flight establishes that there are things that can be done in the short term such that they would have an almost immediate impact. We're very proud to have been able to participate in something such as the United Airlines flight. But it does truly take a, uh, it's going to take a true industry in order to make a difference. In this instance, I think we need engineers, we need companies, we need leaders, we need thought leaders, we need politicians across the board to be able to come together and figure out what can we do to make a big difference. And part of that is certainly making sure that we're opening up the opportunities for new technologies, new biotechnologies in particular, to come to the forefront and figure out ways that in which we can make those available across the globe so that we can make a true difference.